Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey, and welcome back to Nikopara. In the last episode, Chocola went out to deliver some pastries, and then Vanilla said that we were horny pastry puffers for, uh, you know, flirting with the customers when we weren't flirting with them. So, yeah. And now, Chocola is back. Hey, Chakala, mind watching the store for a bit? Hmm. Uh... Wait, what? Vanilla, I need your help in the kitchen. Oh? What? Why do you have a hunch for that? Just what kind of hunch is that? Yeah! It seemed that she was still holding a grudge. Oh man. It looked like she told Chakla something earlier too. Oh, yeah, we saw that in the, I guess the intermission when Chakla's eyes were like, <gasps> In any case, I needed to lighten things up. I thought I'd start to slowly teach you how to make a cake. Oh, hey, yes, you'll find level up. I think, yeah, I really think that Vanilla at heart is very, very perverted. And she's just expressing that out by calling me perverted and doing lewd things. Can you stop it with that nonsense? See? See? Hmm. As always, she was quite the actress. There wasn't really a reason for her to regret anything though. Yeah. Well, in all seriousness, I have no qualms with chocolate being a poster cat girl. But I don't think making cakes would suit her. Hmm, maybe. Vanilla was the right cat girl for the job. It'd be great if she's interested, but it'll be fine even if she messes up. So, well, that's how it is. I'll start by teaching you how to make some simple dough, okay? Alrighty. Oh, Master Sensei. It seems like she's more into it than I thought she'd be. Alright. Call it high with lots of butter. Mmm. We don't have that kind of customization available. Oh man. Oh, maybe. We don't make them one at a time, so it wouldn't work out. Oh. Enough about customizations. First, the basics. Alrighty. While she gave a half hearted response, she measured out the ingredients very carefully according to the recipe. She was quick to learn the names of the kitchen tools and how to use them. Wow, that's fast. And remembered what I taught her without uttering a single complaint. Amazing. You really take on things quickly, Vanilla. Honestly, you are a lot more skilled with your paws than I thought. Paws? Is they have hands, though. No, they are. She puffed out her non-existent chest proudly. Wow, that's that's so so nice of you, Kasho. The chest on that uniform might be too high level for vanilla. Well, she picked it out herself, so I guess she didn't mind too much. Maybe she was trying to show off her slightly lacking chest. You're so nice. That trivial thought crossed my mind for a brief moment. Oh, 
Oh, she did? Is that so? First time I've heard that. <laughs> really? Now that you mention it, you're right. It was more like neither of us were the type to come up with snappy retorts. Vanilla also wasn't the type to talk about herself much either. Yeah, she would just blame me for everything. I realized that I hadn't heard much about her. What? You don't dislike that kind of distance. Oh, that's what you mean, okay. She smiled with her usual tone of voice. If that's what makes Vanilla most comfortable, then I'm fine with that. That was without a doubt. It was without doubt, yet... Hmm? Do you dislike it when I bother you, Vanilla? That's a weird sentence. Do you dislike it? She tilted her head to the side and blinked a few times in confusion. Furrowing her brow, she put a hand to her chin as she thought. Then she hit her palm with her fist and looked over at me. What? How, how did you get to that conclusion? You really need to quit it with these jokes of yours. I lightly bopped Vanilla on the head. She really can't handle serious topics, can she? Well, I think she can, kind of. I mean, she did with Cinnamon. Cinnamon was the one that couldn't handle the topic. So, <laughs> I looked directly at Vanilla and returned to the topic at hand. Hmm? I want to be... I want to be to... What? I want to be closer to you, Vanilla. Well, well, not not physically closer. Not in a literal sense. What I mean is that I want to know more about you and get along with you better. Yeah. This time, I gently patted Vanilla on the head. As usual, she had a baffled expression on her face as she looked up at me. I'm fine with the distance between us right now. But I want to be a better owner, you know. Yes. That's why. I want to know more about you. I want to understand you better, Vanilla. You're one of my precious cat girls after all, Vanilla. Even with what happened with Chocola, I was concerned about Vanilla. Vanilla was right. I didn't know much about her at all. Yeah, she seems like distant. Before. Uh, com uh, compared to Chocola. That's exactly why I wanted to know more. The three of us will be together from now on, after all. Uh... Oh... Yes, Kasha was kind of right about the serious stuff. Uh, but what? Stiff stuff? So, Vanilla could be cute at times, too. She pouted as her cheeks became rosy. Aww. Vanilla mumbled as she looked up at me. Perhaps she really does have a really low tolerance for serious matters. Well, I know it's a bit out of character for me, but I wanted to get that out in the open. At the very least, I wanted to tell you how I feel. Aww, what a good owner you are. As an unbefitting wry smile came across my face, I faced Vanilla and spoke my true feelings. What? I told you that's not it. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, you do? Oh, whew. 
that's a relief. She was absolutely adorable. That true smile. This level of honesty she normally didn't show me was making my heart skip a beat. No, 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 no. I'm having a serious discussion here. This isn't the time for me to be thinking about how cute Vanilla was. Uh. Um. Oh. Hmm? What what is it, Vanilla? Uh, uh oh. Is uh is vanilla in heat? Uh uh huh? V vanilla? I think vanilla's in heat. Hey, hey, Earth to vanilla. Um, you're really close. I say close, but it was more like she was stuck onto me. Vanilla buried her face in my chest and continued to sniff. Yep, she's in heat. That just confirmed it. it. Give you more? She looked up and pushed her face up against my neck. I could feel her body and lips pressed against me. As vanilla's sweet smell and softness flowed throughout my entire body. Wah! Wait! Vanilla! A, a Flemin response? Ah. Ah, huh, did you say Flemin response? Ah. Uh, well, let's just leave it at Flemin response then. Oh, she got angry. Okay. Bye. Um, uh, sure. I left it at that. Oh. My heart is racing, huh? And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Nikopara. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!